Oh man, I am finally sitting down to do this video. I have to be honest, videos like this where you have all these things to compare, they're a little tedious. It's also a little bit overwhelming because I want to make sure I hit all of the points that I want to hit because I want to make content that's informative for you and valuable for you in that way so you can make decisions about what you want to purchase because these things are not cheap. All right, I've got all my card holders here. I have a glass of champagne, so let's get started. YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure that you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. I'm going to start by cutting to a little video I filmed showing you each piece that I have. Two card holders from Coach. Each of these hold six cards, three on each side. They're both under $100 and you can get them on sale for under $50. Next up, Louis Vuitton coated canvas card holder. It holds two cards, one slot on each side, plus the center compartment. Current retail is $215. Gucci Marmont card holder holds four cards, two slots on each side, plus the center compartment. Current retail, $250. YSL card holder holds four cards, two slots on each side, plus the center compartment. Current retail, $275, but you can find these on sale. I got this at Saks Fifth Avenue for $50 off, so it was $225. Chanel card holder, most expensive and least practical. However, gorgeous and luxurious. This holds three cards. It has one slot on the front and two on the back. Chanel no longer has prices on their website, but if I remember correctly, this was around $500. This pouch is from Dress Up Your Purse, and it's kind of a dupe for the Louis Vuitton Kirigami pouches. You can fit lots of cards in there, and it retails for $32. Comes in several colors. The Louis Vuitton Clay holds several cards coated canvas, and the current retail is $215. The Chanel flap card holder. This holds a handful of cards. Again, I don't know the exact price, but I think retails around 500, maybe 550, and prices tend to be even more on the pre-loved market. The Louis Vuitton Felici insert pouch card holder holds eight cards, center pocket for bills. This is not sold by itself at Louis Vuitton, but you can find it on the pre-loved market for around 200, 250. That would be a good price for it. Yves Saint Laurent bill pouch. This has a front slip pocket, a zipped pocket with a big compartment here and a pocket right here. There is nothing on the back. These retail for about $400. The metallic would be a little more expensive, but just like the card holders, you can find them on sale at places like Saks Fifth Avenue. Two things. First, they're divided into three categories. So let me show you that. I have regular card holders and then I have these three, which are more like card pouches. And then I have these two, which can hold cards and bills. So in each of those three categories, I'm gonna show you the pieces that I have from the least expensive to the most expensive. And then I'm gonna talk about, so you know what to expect here. So we'll talk about price. We'll talk about how many cards each one holds to so the capacity, where each is made, the size, cause they're, they're all a little different in size. The materials, like the stiffness or how flexible they are, the lining, the edges, cause there are basically two different kinds of edges. Those could have pros or cons. And then the pros and cons of the different categories and some of the different pieces. Oh, and I also wanna say I have done a card comparison video before, but it didn't have as many pieces as this video has. So I will find that and link it below if you're interested in seeing it. But everything that I showed in that video is also in this video plus more. You gotta get your money's worth in these YouTube videos, right? All right, let's start with the two coach card holders. These are different, which is why I included both of them in this video. This one is a textured leather, you can see, and it has different colors. It's a color blocked card case. And then this one here is just one leather. It's very soft. It's like a lambskin. I had this in the previous video, but not this one. Both of the coach pieces are pretty malleable. You can move them around a lot. The black one more than this one. 
This one, the stiffness is more like a coated canvas if you're familiar with Louis Vuitton. This is much more malleable. It's just super soft. Each of the pockets on this card case is lined in a fabric, except for the interior compartment. And let me say too, although a lot of these card holders hold different amounts of cards, they all do have a center pocket like this, all these flat ones. So this one is aligned in fabric, except for the interior, which is lined in leather. This particular one is lined in a burgundy leather. And it has a couple of tags that stick out inside that tell you that it's coach. And then one tells you where it's made. Both of these are made in Vietnam. And this card holder is also lined, each pocket is lined in a fabric and the interior is leather. This one I just got recently and haven't used yet, but I think it would hold two cards per slot easily without getting too stretched out. This one I use all the time. I keep my medical cards in here and I only keep one card in each. And when I took them out earlier to do this video, I can tell that the pockets are a little bit stretched out, but not too bad. Like if I held it up to the camera, you wouldn't be able to tell. Because this leather is so soft and malleable, I wouldn't put more than two cards in here at a time. Now for me personally, the way I use my card holders is I switch them out depending on the bag that I'm using. Other than this one that always has my medical cards in it, I never keep cards in a card case. So if I was to put two cards in here and it stretches the pockets a little, those cards would be coming out after a day or two. So it's not going to be stretched like over weeks or months. Does that make sense? I think what I'm trying to say is if you're keeping cards in temporarily, you could probably fit more without damaging the piece than if you're planning to keep cards in there long term. So that's something to consider. Then we have the Louis Vuitton card holder. This is the reverse, as you can see. And all the interior compartments here are lined in leather. The outside ones, it's lined in canvas on that side, but leather on this side, and that's a smooth leather. On the inside here, it has a textured leather. This piece is wider than some of the other card holders and shorter because it doesn't have as many card slots. Because it's wider, I think you could fit two cards in here pretty easily, but because it's coated canvas, I wouldn't leave cards in here for very long and stuff it and stretch out the canvas because that's not going to go back. Like with a leather, that might get a little stretched out and then shrink back to its original form perhaps, but the coated canvas won't do that. I find these two pieces very similar and when I was looking to buy this one, I actually looked at the YSL first. When I first looked at the YSL, I found it to be very stiff now that I have multiple card holders from luxury brands, uh, both of these are pretty stiff card holders. I would say they're really about equal. The Gucci is a little less stiff, but you can see I can bend it like this, but I mean, it really has a lot of structure to it. The YSL has even more. These are certainly similar in appearance with the Chevron and then the gold hardware on the front. They hold the same number of cards. There's the back of them together. The YSL is slightly taller and just slightly wider. I would say in terms of capacity, even though they have the same number of pockets on these, because of the stiffness of them, it would be difficult, at least at first, until they're broken in, to get more than one card in each slot. If these were pieces that you were using every day, you may be able to squeeze more in over time as the leather stretches and gets more malleable, which I assume it would do. I haven't actually used one of these long enough to find that out. Plus, I try not to stretch out my card holders. You can also see the Gucci is a smooth leather and the YSL is pebbled. At least in this case, all of the Gucci Marmont card holders that I've seen have been the smooth leather and they do come in a few different colors. The YSL comes in all kinds of different colors. They release new colors every season. And if you see something you like, I'm learning this about YSL, buy it when you see it because it'll be gone if you try to go back in a few weeks or months. Also check places like Saks Fifth Avenue for sales on the YSL especially. I got this one on sale. It retails for $275 and I got it for $225. I got it $50 off during one of their sales. And I would say this is definitely worth $275. So getting an even lower price is just a better deal. It's it's uh, well worth that. Guess what I'm trying to say is if you see one of these on sale that you really like, snatch it up. I don't think you'd regret it. The YSL card holder is the largest of all of the card holders that I have. The Vuitton one is the smallest 
like I said, because it has fewer card slots, it's not as hot, it's not as tall. But that textured leather, the pebbled sort of caviar leather, it seems like it would be very durable. The Gucci is a very smooth, soft leather. It's not as smooth and soft as this Coach, like I said, which feels more like lambskin. It feels more delicate for sure. This feels like a more hardy leather. And this is my most used card holder other than this coach one, which again, I use every day, but it mostly just sits in a pouch. This one I use for my actual cards where it gets pulled in and out of bags. And I think you can see a couple of little scratches here and there on it, but nothing major. My first impression when I saw this at the store is that it looked used when it was brand new. Part of that is that the gold has an antiqued look to it. And then part of that is the stitching. The stitching, when you run your fingers over this card holder, it's not as soft and smooth as you'd think it would be for this price point because you can feel the stitches and that gives it a little bit of a roughness. The Gucci inside pockets are fabric and then the interior center pocket is leather. The YSL has one side leather and one side fabric and then the interior is leather. And of course, Chanel. This is the Gabrielle style, which has this extra piece of leather at the bottom here. Mine is in a goat's leather, which has that unique texture, and this is also metallic, and it's an ombre. With the Chanel card holder, at this price point you'd think it's all leather, but it's not. It is fabric on the inside of the pockets, and then leather in the center. Oh no, it's not leather in the center. Forgive me, I made an assumption that a 500 some dollar card holder would be leather in the center. No, no. It has a leather trim and then fabric inside. Now this is another one that mainly because of the price point, I would not put more than one card in here because you'd stretch it out. I feel like at this price point, this is my favorite card holder of all of these. Um, I think because of the look and feel of it more than anything, it's the least practical because of the price and it's probably the worst value because of the price. Because like I said, the interior pockets are not leather. You get only three card slots compared to up to six on some of the others. Most people, if you're paying for something this small at this kind of price point, you want to be careful with it and not scratch it and not stretch out the card slots. I have used this one quite a bit and I would definitely recommend, because it's my favorite, I would recommend a Chanel card holder, but if you're somebody like me who doesn't go around buying $500 card holders all the time, I would wait around for like, figure out what your dream Chanel card holder is and wait around for that one. Even if you have to find it on like Fashion File and pay an extra $100 for it, for me, it's not worth buying multiple Chanel card holders. I'd rather have a variety of different brands and different colors and patterns and have one like dream Chanel card holder like this one. Because this is really, it's a utilitarian piece, but at this price point and considering that it holds fewer cards than the other ones, it's definitely more in that luxury cloud. Like this is a this is a special piece, you know? And I can say the same thing about the other Chanel card holder that I'll show you in a minute. So here is my overall opinion recommendation for these particular card holders. If you have something that you need to carry cards in every day, it's gonna be used every day, it'll get a lot of wear, then personally I'd recommend something in the coach price point. You have a lot of options there. They come out with new card holders all the time. They're under $100. You can get them on sale for under $50. You can even get them on the coach outlet. And then you don't really have to worry about those. If they get damaged, it's not that big a deal. It's not like damaging your Chanel card holder. And then for me, because I do like luxury pieces also, in addition to some of the contemporary brands like Coach, my plan here, the way I do these card holders, is to get a variety. I try not to have duplicates in my card holders. So like, I've seen lots of black card holders that I like, but I haven't bought any more because I already have a black card holder. And now I have a white card holder and I have a metallic card holder that goes with several of my metallic bags. And then I really wanted something from Vuitton in reverse, so I got the card holder. So I I'd be more selective about the card holders that you're gonna get if you're going with luxury brands, and then really selective if you're gonna go with something super expensive like the Chanel. But whatever you buy, use it. I mean, even if you rotate them like I do and 
some only get used a couple times a year. Like hot pink isn't my color, but if I had a hot pink one for some reason, then there would be a reason I added it to my collection. And that might be a card holder that I use once or twice a year, but it has its place in the collection. Does that make sense? And I would say that of the luxury card holders that are in a more reasonable price point, so like not Chanel, my favorite is probably the YSL. And my reasoning for that is I really like the look of it, it has a good number of card slots. It's sturdy, it's very well made. I like the logo on the front. I've worried about whether that might scratch other pieces in my bag. You know, I'll be careful not to put it up against something very delicate. It comes in a lot of different colors. And even if you can't find one new, you can find them pre-loved. You can get good deals on them. The price is already good at $275, and then you can get sales and pre-loved prices that are lower. So if I had to recommend one card holder out of all of these that would be the best buy for your money, it would definitely be the YSL. That was the longest part of the video. The other two categories will be shorter, I promise you. Okay, in this category, I call this the card pouches. So the Louis Vuitton clay is actually meant to be a key pouch. It has this little attachment here, a key ring, but I don't use it for that, I use it for cards. This piece from Dress Up Your Purse, same thing. It has a little key attachment, but you don't have to use that. I use these for cards. So let's start with the Dress Up Your Purse piece. It's an envelope pouch. It says Dress Up Your Purse on the back. Oh, and I have a discount code for you. It's autumn 15 for 15% 15 off at dressupyourpurse.com. I'll put that link below. She has these pouches in several different colors. I have it in this pink of a Shetta black, and I just ordered it in a light blue turquoise kind of color. Depending on which pouch you get, they're made of different leathers. So this one is super malleable. The Vachetta one is very stiff. The black one is between these two, and we'll see what the turquoise one is. The beauty of all three of these pouches is that they hold a lot of cards. You're limited in the flat pouches to the number of slots that are available and how much you want to stuff those, whether you want to put one or two cards in each slot. But these you can fit like a handful of cards. They still have about the same height and width profile, but they are going to be a little bit thicker because since they hold more cards. The price point is exceptional on this one, relatively good on this one when you compare it to the card holders. You definitely get more capacity for $215 in a clay than you do for 200 plus card holder. Now the Chanel, of course, just like the card holder is utilitarian, but also luxury in the clouds because of the price. So this is gonna run you 500 plus. I waited a while to get this because of that $500 price point. I have to say for both of those, I have not regretted it for a second. And this one I actually spent about $100 over retail on. I got it pre-loved on Fashion File. I could not find it brand new. The card holder I got brand new. I tell you what, it's hard to swallow the price point if you're not used to spending that kind of money for a piece this small, but this piece I have used all the time and it still looks brand new. There's like no wear on it. This piece I use a lot, still looks brand new, no wear, and they both make me happy when I bring them out. I love these pieces so much. These two are both flap openings. They both have a snap on them. This opens up there. You have one card slot in the front that I usually put two cards in. And then you have this big gusseted compartment there that'll hold a handful of cards. If you're looking for like a small compact wallet that will hold a lot, but is still small, this is a fantastic option. Any of these would be. The coated canvas is gonna be very durable. Like I said, I've used this a lot and this caviar leather has been very durable. If you compare the caviar leather textures on these two. The YSL is definitely more hardy and scratch resistant, but the Chanel is also hardy and scratch resistant. The Chanel feels more pillowy and soft to the touch, but both durable. Something else that's an advantage with these two, since they have the clips attached to them, you can attach them to your belt loop or to a D-ring inside your bag or to the outside of your bag. This doesn't have that. It's more of a traditional wallet that you'd put in your bag or in a pocket in your bag. But oh, like I said, no regrets with the Chanel pieces. They're not pieces that I would go around buying all the time, at least not with my 
current income level. If you're wondering whether to get like an envelope kind of pouch that holds more cards or a card holder like this, keep in mind that whatever you decide right now, you can always get the other one later. And my recommendation if you're trying to pick between one of these two styles is to think about the bags that you have. I'd say overall, these are gonna be like the ones that hold more cards that have a bigger capacity are gonna be a better value because they have a better capacity. But if you carry small bags and you need to think about the space in your bag, then a space saving card holder might be a better option for you. Okay, last category, my two bill pouches. Now this one is a Felici insert from Louis Vuitton. It came with the Felici handbag. So these two pieces are the inserts that come with the handbag. This is just a zipped pouch flat. There's nothing at all on the inside. So you could use these two together and you'd have the same functionality as this and about the same size. The Felici inserts are definitely shorter and the YSL pouch is, it's taller and longer. And then since the YSL pouch has some padding to it, they're about the same thickness. I would probably use these in two different ways though. If I'm just using the card holder or the bill pouch, the bill pouch, because it's a bigger, thicker item, I would probably put into the main compartment of a handbag, whereas this, because it's so thin, there are quite a few handbags like this one where if you open up the flap, you have a flat pocket up front, and this fits perfectly in one of those flat pockets. So you can have your wallet there and then the big compartment for all your other things. But this is absolutely perfect for one of those slip pockets. It has the eight card slots on the front, nothing on the back, and then it has a center compartment that's lined in leather. The YSL bill pouch has a pocket up here that's lined in fabric, and then it has a zip pouch, one big compartment with this one slip pocket here. That pocket is large enough to hold a YSL card holder, just like that. Otherwise, the bill pouch does not have any pockets that are specific to holding cards, but I wanted to include it here anyway. Just so you'd have a couple other options for card holder type pieces in your handbags. And this is gorgeous enough that you could even use it as a little clutch by itself. All the pockets here are lined in fabric. I'll say another advantage over one of these card holders compared to one of these card holders is that when you have the flat card holders, you can see your cards and like this card holder is really pretty like it is, right? And this one's really pretty and all the other ones are really pretty. But once you put your cards in, they're all different colors and then they say different things on them. They're not quite as pretty that way. So if you put your cards in one of these, then your cards are hidden and you don't see the ugly cards, you just see your beautiful card holders. Same thing with this piece, you see the cards in it. So it loses some of its beauty when you actually use it. I mentioned earlier where the two coach card holders are made and I forgot to mention where everything else is made. So let's look at that. The Louis Vuitton one that I have is made in France. Gucci made in Italy. YSL made in Italy. Chanel made in Italy. I'm not sure where the dress up your purse pieces are made. This clay is made in the US. It doesn't say that. That, which is how I know. If it was made in France or Spain or Italy, it would say that. Chanel, made in Italy. These both just say Louis Vuitton Paris, so I'll assume that is the United States. And YSL, also made in Italy. Well, I just filmed this entire video. Actually, I filmed it like a week or so ago before I'm filming this. Who knows when you'll see it. And I realized after I filmed the whole thing that I left out one of my card holders, this coach card holder that is plain on the front, like no pockets or anything. And then on the back, it has some card slots. And then over here, it has a zipper. So I wanted to come back on and film a little piece about this because this is so different from all the other card holders and it's become a pretty popular style and there are definite pros and cons to it. I got this one off the Coach Outlet website. I don't think this particular one is available anymore in the green watercolor print, but I know there are other ones, so I will link those below. This card holder has five card slots and I have them all full. I would not put more than one card in here because it's get, it gets pretty tight like this, just with one in each. And then the zipper, I have a few cards and things in there too. Once you have that full, you can see how the zipper is curved a little bit because the it makes the piece curved a little bit because of the way that the cards are stacked. I like having the zippers so I have a little bit more storage to put things. However, it does really make the card holder very stiff, just like with the other card holders. 
once there are cards in the slots, it's kind of difficult to deal with the center pocket. Same here. One possible pro is that you can look at one side of this card holder and just see the card holder, not see any of the cards that really don't match the card holder. Whereas all the other card holders, if you have cards in all the slots, you see the cards. So there's not just one view where it looks beautiful, like it was when you first saw it and fell in love with it and bought it. This is longer than your typical card holder. So here's a regular card holder from Coach. There's about an inch of extra space here. Louis Vuitton has one like this, and I think that it's even longer. Pretty sure it's a, a larger card case than this. The height is probably a little shorter than most card holders, but it depends on what you're comparing it to. This card holder is made of a coated canvas, and the Louis Vuitton ones are too. I'm not sure I've even seen one made of leather, but I'm sure they exist. And I think that's about all I have to say about this one. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Well, I think that covers just about everything. I hope so. If you have any questions about any of these, please let me know in the comments section. I tried to think of everything I could think of to tell you about these so you could make an informed decision if you're thinking about buying any of them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you and your family and loved ones are doing well. And I hope to see you back here next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.